Hi everyone. Hope you can all hear me okay and see me okay. Hi Miriam. Phew. Hot again. Hi Jen. How are we all? Hi Piggy Sue. Hi. Everybody had a good weekend. Hi Fiona. I'll just wait a few moments for a few people to join. Hi Laurie. Hi Anita. Whew. Brilliant. Thanks Miriam. And can you all see okay? Because I know that uh, one lady said she couldn't see very well last time. So I want to make sure you can see okay. Hi Laurie. So hopefully you can see the bottom of my tag. Hot and bothered. I'm very hot and bothered. I've literally come in from the garden about five seconds ago. Uh, I've been gardening and I've washed two dogs and I am really hot. I have no idea how this Facebook Live is going to go. So it could be a complete disaster because I'm literally doing it off the cuff. Hi Tracy. Hi Lynn. Too hot. Yes, I agree. I know some people love it. I know if Chris was here, she'd say that she loves it. But no. Hi Tracy. So I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen roll. I've literally got an ice block to keep me cool. So that's absolutely lovely. Um, so while you're all here, hi Ollie. Um, if you share the Facebook Live, I've got a little giveaway for everybody, which I'll just get now. It's a little pile of goodies. I can hear and see. Brilliant. Thanks, Fiona. I'm just making sure because I know one lady said that she was frustrated yes, the other day because she couldn't see. Uh, obviously, you all know I'm just an amateur at this. Um, me and technology, I am pretty useless, so I just do the best I can. So hopefully you can all see okay. Hi, Monique. So if you share this video, um, I've got a, couple, uh, a few bits for a giveaway. I've got a Tim Holtz vignette house uh, that's in the pack. I have some mini embellishments, some mini house embellishments. I've got a canvas. I've got three wooden hearts. Hi Bev. Hi Sharon. Hi Monique. I hope you're enjoying Crete. And I've got another new MDF uh, pieces here that are not even unwrapped. So that was in the giveaway. I've got another gessoed etc tag because I seem to have quite a few gessoed etc tags for some reason and I've also got a brand new Tim Holtz um, what do you call these impresslets it's brand new I've not opened it so that'll be in the giveaway as well bring them on camera right okay so hi Cheryl and I've got a Tim Holtz tin if anybody can't see, please let me know because I don't want anybody to, to not be happy with the Facebook Live. Hi Jane, I've got a vintage photo for you and I've got a frame and I've got some postcards for you as well. So that's the giveaway. So if you share the video, I will draw a winner. Um, I'll draw it on Wednesday the 4th of July. And I'll announce the winner on my Facebook page. Oh, I've got rid of my gesso tag now. There we go. So, as you all saw from my post, thanks Chris. I, I'd like to at least give a decent giveaway, especially when you're all spending your time joining me. So, I want to make sure you have a decent giveaway. Um, so, as I posted earlier... I just had a gesso tag on my desk and literally my desk is just the leftovers from a, pre a previous session that I did uh, yesterday when I was creating things. So I've got no idea. Thanks for sharing, everybody. Um, hi, Lynn. So I've got no idea where this is going. So I hope that uh, you enjoy it. And it could be a disaster, but we're amongst friends. So no problem. Hey, so thanks, Alison. Hi, Sue. So the gesso tag is just one. I tend to gesso quite a few MDF pieces as I go along during the week. So the only other thing I've got is I've got all in create stencils and stamps, I think, somewhere in this mess. And I've got these two hearts 
I don't know which I'm using so and the only paints I've got on my desk apart from texture paste are Dina Wakely, Sedona and Buff Paints so this is going to be interesting hi Laura um, so we'll give it a go and see where it goes so um, I think we'll give the tag a coat of the buff paint I do love this colour it sort of gives a vintage feel so we'll apply this <coughs> excuse me sorry for coughing I've been cutting back ivy in the garden and I don't know about you but whenever I cut back ivy it gets to the back of my throat so well so if I cough a bit I'm sorry about that so hopefully you can all see okay and you'll let me know if you can't I don't want to make anybody unhappy by not seeing or make anybody frustrated by not seeing what I'm doing but as you all know I'm very amateur when it comes to videos so these are just a bit of fun for me and sharing with hi Teresa and sharing with my fellow creatives really it's just about me having some fun nothing else really so I've applied a coat of the buff to the tag and I think we'll apply the same to the heart as well just in case I use the heart I have no idea whether I'm using it or not yet but we'll apply that anyway I'll give it a good coat and if you remember when you're creating anything, if you remember the sides, just so that looks a bit more professional. And we'll do the big heart as well, just in case. Just move that up a bit. So these are just wooden hearts. If you haven't got any wooden hearts, you could use paper hearts that you just cut out of paper. Obviously, if you're doing this, you would make sure that all your heart is covered all around the edges. Hi Eileen, hope you're well. Perfect camera work. Oh, thanks Chris, I really appreciate it. So we'll just give those a dry. And my heat gun isn't on, so bear with me. I told you I wasn't prepared. For anybody that's just joining me, this is an off-the-cuff uh, live Facebook the idea is that I just use what I've got on my desk and we just go with the flow so there's no plan so I could make a big mistake here but the idea is that it's something that you could all do yourselves and obviously use the bits that are on your desk rather than any anything that you've you've recently purchased just using up what you've got on your desk so we'll just dry these hearts as well I want to make sure that the base layer is really dry always hot but honestly Chris that's the, all that was left on my desk I promise <laughs> hi Ginny I promise I won't use threads <laughs> hi Fraser hopefully you can see okay Fraser let me know if you can't I've been messing around with my camera I've got a very small room so camera angles are very difficult but I don't want to leave anybody frustrated so now I'm just trying to think how to use the Sedona. I think what I might do is I might paint half the tag in the, Sed the Sedona. Very brave, Rosemary. Probably brave or absolutely mad. Look, yes, looks much better already. Thanks very much, Fraser. Appreciate your feedback. So I'm going to apply the Sedona to half my tag. Now this is a rich colour. So just apply, just want to make sure I've got a good coat. And my paint's all drying already in this heat. I know Chris is sitting there thinking, I love this heat. I should have done it in the garden, but my husband wouldn't stand for an hour filming me because there was no other way that I could do it. Oops to me. Oh, why an oops, Ginny? Did I miss your previous comment? So let's do the side of the etc tag. If we're going to do the job, we may as well to do it properly. So, sorry, I'm just holding it up just to me, just so that I can do the side and the bottom. 
okay and I think what we'll do is we'll use this stencil spelling error oh we don't bother about spelling Ginny don't worry about it you're in the garden are you Chris I knew you would be so what I, what I perhaps I could do is I could place this stencil on here and maybe we can wipe some of the colour back whoops I've moved my stencil let's try that again and the idea is these Facebook lives really for me is to show that to show everybody that you can all do these it's not something that you have to be professional at <laughs> I'm a perfect example of that um, but it's something you can all have fun with let's just place that stencil back there there we go everything's so sticky I don't know whether you found that when you're creating everything sticks to everything so I'm just going to just rub a little bit more I want it to look a bit a bit vintage and a bit distressed hi Cassie hi Angela let me just see if that's looking okay oh yes that looks okay and it's so much more fun creating with people alongside you rather than on your own all the time so there's what we've got so far so I'll just wipe my stencil and we'll give that a dry hi Rox what time is it where you are Rox the stencil's fabulous I love this one but then I think you go through stages don't you with all your stencils you sort of you like certain things at different times. I like this stencil. And then in the next month, it might be a different one, but I absolutely love the stencil. I love the numbers. So I'm just giving that a good dry. Just to make sure the paint's dry. Yes, we're all dry there. So hopefully you can all see that okay. Got nice detail there. And I think what we'll do is, we'll just get a clean wipe. And we'll just distress, see if we can, do, oh we've dried so I won't be, oh we can. Just see if we can distress it a bit more at the edges. Just scrape it a little bit with your nail. Just so that we can just distress it a little bit more. And it just gives it a more age feel. You don't want it to look too perfect. Well, no, I don't want it to look too perfect. You might want it to look perfect, but I don't. I want it to look a bit more distressed so we're just wiping the edges that's it that's a little bit better you might not be able to see it on camera but if I lift it up a bit the edges are a little bit distressed just makes it look a bit better just after 1 40 a.m. oh rocks aren't you tired oh I'd be shattered I do stay up late but I do have a lie-in in the morning as well so we'll just get rid of some of this paint I'm just chucking my wipes on the floor, which is not very good. And what shall we do next? Um, well, let's. We we need one of these stuck on there. So let's uh, let's get another brush. I'm terrible with brushes as well. I tend to forget to wash my brushes, which is a sin really. And then I don't. Um, wash them and then they all go hard so I'm terrible so now I'm going to I've decided I'm going to paint the heart unless you've in case you've just joined me this is going to be very random because it's an off-the-cuff Facebook live I have no idea where I'm going with this the idea is that we're just having a bit of creative fun and we're all doing it together and just to prove really that you don't have to have loads of products you can use what you've got on your desk so I've got the heart here I think I'll do the same with the heart let's move this along so you can see and we'll do the same with the heart and we'll have the numbers so I think we'll have those little numbers there and we'll just because then this will coordinate with the tag oh yes that's worked out quite well it's nice when it works, especially when everybody's watching live. 
So has anybody done anything interesting this weekend? Hi Zoe from Lake Garden. Oh wow. Hope you're having a lovely time. Hi Nikki. Hope you're well Nikki. So at the moment I've got a heart and I'm thinking maybe what we need to do now is I just want to break up some of this Sedona that I've got here. Oh, don't worry about being late, Anne. This is just an off-the-cuff thing. You've not missed much. It's just a relaxing Facebook Live in the nice heat. I would have done it in the garden, Anne, but it's just, my husband wouldn't film me for an hour. So I want to break up this Sedona colour here just a little bit. So I'm going to add a bit of the buff to my non-stick craft sheet, which you can't see there, but I've got a slight amount on my brayer, which you can see, which is a tiny amount, and I'm just going to bray it over the top. It looks better already. Let me see if I can just move this along so you can see it more in camera. So we get a bit more paint. Shared this all over. Oh, thanks, Chris. Hi, Mitziana. Thanks for joining me. So I'm just adding some light layers and that's much better. I prefer it because then it's not just all one block of colour. You might like the block of colour but I'm just going with the flow here. Just going with where inspiration takes me. Hi Elizabeth. Went to Kildare Village yesterday. So hot in the car. We're not used to these temperatures. No, we're not Rosemary. That's the problem. We're not used to the temperatures. I know in the USA they get high temperatures so they're used to it and everywhere is air conditioned. Whereas we're not air conditioned anywhere here so we, it, it's a problem for us. That's much better. So what I've got there is I'll bring it up to camera just so you can see a bit. I've dulled down the Sedona colour. Um, I love that heart now. Am I let off for using another heart? <laughs> so I've literally toned down the Sedona slightly just so it looks a little bit more aged. I, I prefer it like that. You may prefer um, the, the bolder colour, but that, not for me. I prefer the aged. So, and then I'm just going to add a touch of colour because it's important to do the uh, reinforcer as well. So let's do the reinforcer. I'm very aware at making sure I look at the camera and that you can see everything. Hi everyone. Hi Hazel. More than I didn't know what I was doing when I shared to different groups. <laughs> so we've got the reinforcer that also brayer. Yes, I love my brayer rocks. So we're just going to dry the reinforcer. And then we'll just add a bit more. I'm loving this buff, this buff colour. It's really lovely. So has anybody else done anything this weekend? Have you been anywhere? Have you had your grandchildren, Chris? So I'm going to remove let's remove some of this paint because I'm getting in a bit of a mess. Let's remove some of this. There we go. So we, we've done the reinforcer, which will go there, but I won't stick that down there yet. Love those tags, used one recently. The tags are brilliant. I like the fact that they're really heavy duty, so they'll take any medium. So I love that, Deborah. I do anyway, personally. Um, so I won't add the reinforcer at the moment because knowing my luck, I'll want to add something and that'll be in the way. I've, I know that by the amount of mistakes I've made before. So... And now I've got this stencil on my desk. It's one by Etoile de Moi. And it's got some circles and some text. And I'm thinking we need to bring in some, a darker colour. Hi, Franke. This makes a lovely change from football. That's what I, we've got on at the moment, Shirley. Football, football and Formula One. Yes, I wish, I, I wish I should create more in the garden, actually, Chris. Um, so I have my archival ink. And what I'm thinking is 
because the tag is sort of lengthways I want to try and add some detail lengthways as well so I'm thinking maybe I can add some of this now I haven't got many inks I've only got archival I don't think I've even got distress ink so we said we're only using what we've got on the desk so that's what we're doing so I'm thinking maybe hmm, I'm going to be talking to myself a lot as well Replace the liner in the fish pond so turn it into a swimming pool for the grandchildren. For <laughs> Good idea, Vanessa. <laughs> so I'm going to apply some archival ink over the stencil. Just going to make sure that that's coming through. Oh, yes, it is. It's a nice, delicate touch, which is what I want. But because the tag's elongated, I feel like I need some elongated element if that makes sense so I'm just adding some some of this randomly to the background oh yes I often took football here yes yeah, same healing yes the Formula One my son was not very happy because uh, Lewis Hamilton went out so he's not very happy at all so he got frustrated went upstairs and watched the football instead so I've not got a happy household here so I went and did the gardening and bathed the dogs. But I was actually wetter than the dogs. So, oops. So what we've got there is we've got some black detail, which just breaks it all up. Hi, Carol. I've been crafting outside under the big umbrella, watching the, oh, the door mice playing in the rockery. Now that sounds wonderful, Elizabeth, I have to say. Are they weirds? Yes, it, say, it says human human Chris but obviously it's all broken up so you've it sometimes says human and then you've only got part of the wordings so I quite like that we I understood you anyway Chris don't worry about it so we've got some darkness there and now for me this isn't part of this so we need to bray some little details on here so let's we've got some Sedona on my brayer and we'll just add a light layer this is too light but I just want to do it very lightly and remembering the edges that's better just so that it all looks it's all part together that's what I'm drinking, Ginny. Oh, what are you drinking, Ginny? I missed your comment. Let me scroll down. Tracy, have you tried Aldi Pims at 5 99 a bottle? It's so... Oh, no, I've not tried that. I'm a bit of a tea belly. I only drink tea. My husband drinks gin, but I drink tea. Tea or water. He's my water, although it could be gin, but it definitely is water, which I'll have a sip of. Right. So... I'm thinking, mm. so we need to edge the heart with a bit of black, I think. So we'll just edge this with a bit of black, just so that we give it a, a touch of definition. Me, even my um, cut and dry foam's giving up the ghost. Both me and my products are not working very well in the heat. But as I promised, I'll make do with what I've got on my desk. Oh, thanks very much. Is it Bo Lear? Hi, Bo Lear. It would be okay if it was gin too. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is because I've not drank for 20 years, Mitsiana, could you imagine what the Facebook Live would be? It might be good fun because I, I'd be a bit tipsy, but it might, not, it might not be a good thing. So, oh, I told you my cut and dry foam was breaking up. So I'm thinking we'll add that there. So what we need to do is we need to elongate this stenciling here. So let's see if we can line it up a little bit. No, we, we, we'll go for random. We're not going to try and line it up. That's asking for trouble. So we'll place a little bit down here. Alderflower gin. 
Yes, that's what my husband does. Alderflower gin. And then we want a little bit more up here. That's Betty. So we put that on there. And I think we need a bit of stamping. What stamps have I got? Deborah, is that from the one from Aldi? Clever girl, I love your work, as you know. Oh, thanks, Carol. It is even hot. I'm in Cheshire as well, Victoria. It is even hotter. And I've done Christmas stuff as well for a magazine. And I have to say, in this heat, I wasn't very inspired. I'm sorry, but not at all. So I've got my A4 stamp. Um, I'm going to use it as is. So I'm going to add a bit of stamping, just for a bit more detail on the heart and maybe down here as well, just so that we give it a bit more detail. Um, I'm just trying to decide whether I'm going to, what I'm going to use. Um, I told you it was random, this is. I've no idea where I'm going, so I'm going to ink the art wording up on the stamp. Hi Diane. I, I don't mind these tags though, Rosemary, because they're so dimensional and they're quite thick. I mean, look how thick they are. It's like a, it's almost like a canvas, really. It's wonderful. I, I just love them. I love doing these in canvases because it just means that if you make a mistake, you can gesso over the whole whole lot. It's hard going, Tracy, in the heat. You're not far from me. I'm in Winsford. Oh, yes, I'm just in between Crewe and Nantwich, Victoria. So I'm not far at all. So I'm just giving a good inking to the word art. Benny, have you got any plans for the week or is it all work? I know, random. <laughs> so we're putting this here. So let's build up the layer here. So stamp the word art. What you have to remember on Facebook Lives is you want to bring everything towards you because that's how you stamp. And you forget that people are watching after a while and you bring all your products towards you and I have to remember not to do that. So we've got the word art there. What did we do before Facebook with people watching this? <laughs> I wouldn't do Facebook Lives at first, Ginny. I was absolutely petrified. And then I thought, well, if I make a mistake, at least all you lot know that I'm human. And we all make mistakes, so it doesn't matter. So that's the only way that I could do a Facebook Live. You know, sort of talk, give myself a talking to to say that you know, we're all human, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go perfect, it's not a problem. So I've now got that like that, so we can see the word art, which I quite like. Um, and I think we'll stamp some numbers on here just to co coordinate with the numbers in the background. So we'll just move this to one side and then we'll use these numbers. Oh, bless you, Ginny, thank you. Thanks, Rox. I just pretend that you're all sitting with me and that we're in a craft room together, to be honest. And that we're just all enjoying it together. And if I make a mistake, so do we all do, so it doesn't matter. So I'm stamping the numbers. Now, these A4 stamps from All and Create, I use them as is, or I use them in my A4 stamping platform, but Abs will be bringing some A4 acrylic blocks. And the A4 acrylic blocks that Abs is bringing I've got a bit of movement to them in the center so that you can get a good um, impression. They work really well, so hopefully those will be with us soon. There's the uh, numbers on the heart, which come out in lovely detail. Yeah, they're, they're really good, the A4. I've tested one of them, Miriam, and they're really good. So, and, right, what else do I want? So, we've got that like that. So, I think... I don't want to put too much up here because I'm quite liking this elongated element here. Um, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll add a bit of texture paste while I think a bit more. Luckily I've got texture paste. There's always texture paste on my desk. I'm never without texture paste. So I think what we'll do is we'll wipe over my stencil before we use it again. 
and we'll add a touch of stenciling palette knife yes oh thanks Tracy I love it but I am biased it is my stamp so I'm bound to be biased I have to I always like black around the edges I just think if, you've, if you're working with the same color and you're not doing a contrasting color then you have to do something with the edges of your design to bring it all in so that the eyes drawn in I've got water everywhere right so I think we'll add a touch of texture I love my texture and we're only wanting touches here hopefully I'm still working in camera shout at me if I'm not working in camera I wish I could do random like you <laughs> One of your best selling stuff. Oh, thanks, Sue. So I'm now going to overlap some of the black and add this here. Oh, yes, I like that. Do you know, I should work random more often. Sometimes I work better random. If I have a plan, it, most of it goes in the bin. Mind you, this could end up in the bin before now. You're still in camera. Thanks, Miriam. So if I just lift that up, so let me just do a bit more down here. Um, remembering not to put my stencil in the other texture paste that I've used, which is another habit of mine. That's it. So we'll just get rid of the texture paste off my stencil. So nothing's prepared here. Not the bin. Oh, quite a bit goes in the bin, Tracy. I do recycle. I recycle a lot. But sometimes some of the pieces are just a disaster. So I'm afraid they go in the bin. If I can't die cut with them or they're a total mess, there's no other thing. They have to go in the bin. If, if it's a background, I'll die cut pieces from them. But some pieces end up in the bin. It's just inevitable, I'm afraid. Right. So what we've got now is... Oh, we've got some texture. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> Hi Leandra, thanks for joining me. So, let me, um, where's my camera? Uh, there. So we've got some texture, we've got some stamping, we've got some stenciling and we've got brayering. So a couple of techniques there. We'll give that a dry. But shouldn't take long in this heat. No problem Ginny, enjoy your evening. Have a lovely week yourself, Ginny. At least you can work on both sides if necessary. Exactly, Anne. I love these etc. tags. So I'm just drying my texture paste before I do anything else. It shouldn't take long. Right, okay. So this is what I'm aiming for. Sort of off-centre. Um, we will put something on here. Maybe a bit of texture paste to coordinate with the texture paste in the background on the tag. Yes, I, if, I, if I'm ever struggling, Anne, and nothing goes right with these etc. tags, it just gets gessoed over and I start all over again. So now I've decided, as you all know, this is random, so I've now decided after I've cleaned everything, I want some on my... Um, I've lost my stencil now. Do you, oh, it's here. I've lost my texture paste even. My desk's so small, I can ha I can lose anything. So, I'm going to add a touch of texture paste through Abzi's stencil on the heart. That's better. Now I feel like the heart belongs to the background. Thanks very much for joining me, everybody. If you share this Facebook Live, I've got um, a nice giveaway for you um, with lots of goodies. Most of them are all new. Apart from an etc tag, which is new, I've just gessoed it. If you share this, I'll then draw a random winner on Wednesday. And I'll announce the winner on this post as well. Yeah, I do the same, Miriam. I just gesso over the whole lot and do it again. But sometimes working randomly is a better idea because you're not overthinking everything. It doesn't always work, I have to say. It is the look of the draw, so doing a Facebook Live is a bit dangerous. So I'm quite liking that at the moment because everything works together. It doesn't work against it. it we've got a nice background. The heart works with the background. 
so what we need to do now is we need to edge the tag even though I sanded it earlier because I've put black around here we need to draw the eye into the center of the tag so we need to put some black around the edges of the tag as well so we'll add that round there just to, to draw the eye in I may even draw around the edge as well just a scribbly line just to give a bit more detail Hi Sheila I can't believe you're up so late Rox and I presume it's winter where you are is it Rox? Have you got cold weather? So we're just applying the black around the edges obviously everything will be a bit slower with this Facebook live because as I posted before it's a random Facebook live there's no plan we're just going with the flow so because nothing's prepared it'll take just a little bit longer so I think what we do now hopefully I've got a black pen that works would be good um, and we'll we'll draw a scribbly line around the tag I want to draw the eye into the center of the tag and into the detail of the tag so whether you add shading a scribbly line whether you use a credit card an old credit card not your new ones obviously because we want them for spending it just you can add some scratch lines with a credit card an old one and then it draws the eye into the center of the tag and it means that you've thought about it it's not all sort of floating and, and no thought to it so although if we're honest there was no thought to this I've just done it randomly but you know what I mean hi Anne um, so I've got a scribbly line there and I think we'll just do a little bit so it's double just so it looks a bit more I have to say I'm loving that stencil of abs I love the wording I just think it's fab so now we've got that so if I just look at that I might just want a little touch of stamping here so it's not too stark I know I said I wasn't going to but maybe just a little tiny bit there just of some numbers what you don't want to do is you don't want to try and thanks for sharing Carol thanks Karen and the thing what I don't want to do is when you're stamping this, what you have to remember is this is obviously only my personal opinions there's no rules in crafting you just go with the flow this is just me saying how I create what makes me happy uh, it's nothing's written in in a rule book you just go with the flow but for me on my tag I try not to do lots of stamping here there and everywhere so that your eyes all over the place obviously I've got most of my stamping here and it's got a kind of a flow to it so I don't want to add too much there or else my eye is going to jump over that side whereas now it's drawn here and, and it's drawn to that detail you have the stencil do you Teresa yes I love the stencil it's re really nice I've only used it once before but now I'll be using it lots more because I keep using this number one so I think what I'm going to do is I've decided against that but I'm going to put a touch of stamping here because I don't want your eyes jumping all over the place so we're using my A4 stamp again and as you can see you don't need lots of products you can use your stencils I mean you could get away with just using stencils and just the odd sentiment you don't have to use stacks of product to get a reasonable result that you're happy with so we just add a bit have I moved out of camera now just a touch of stamping there that's better just trying to make it so it all works together that's better for me it's that's it so I quite like that just so that it's oh thanks very much Rox hi Roberta I don't know whether I said hello before hello everybody um, thanks Andrea and so I've now got so my eyes drawn here I'm not putting too much detail on this side um, and then obviously my my little reinforcer will go there which I think we can stick down I'm pretty safe in thinking that I'm not going to add and it won't get in the way she says confidently so let's just stick that down 
that reinforcer just breaks up the blank background and do like adding lots of textures just so that if you're giving this to somebody then you know that it's a tactile piece they want to touch it hi Beverly and I think what we'll do is because we're doing a Facebook live I'll add this tag to the giveaway so whoever's the randomly drawn winner I'll, I'll add the tag that we make today into the prize draw I keep losing you in the garden had to come back in <laughs> So we're there and now I'm thinking we need a focal image. Huh. It's a good job I've got I've got one only little acrylic block. I told you it was nothing planned. We won't be using a big image, put it that way. So what I'm thinking is we could add my butter yes, yeah. Do you like how I talk to myself? So, and I'll post to anywhere, it doesn't matter if you're in Australia or anywhere, I'll post to anybody. So now I've, oh, I've got some book pages. Have I got any scrap card? Oh, scrap card, look, this was just on my desk. So we'll just tear this up. Scrap white card, I've not bought anything into the desk, literally using what, we, what we've got. So what we're going to do now is I've got some music paper. Yay! That was a result. So we're going to attach this music paper. I think I just need a focal image just to bring everything together. Do you like how I've not stuck anything down yet just in case I change my mind? Because I do that so many times, stick it down then pull it off again. So I'm going to add this vintage paper to a piece of white card. And the only reason I'm doing that is to give it some stability. Because if I stamp my butterfly just on the music paper, it's going to be a bit flimsy, so we don't want that. This is just vintage music paper from a charity shop. So I've now got that much stuff on my desk. I can't see where I'm going. Hang on, I have to keep remembering to be in camera. I'm listening to Fraser, you see. She might have disappeared now, but I'm listening to Fraser to, to stay in camera rather than keep pulling the items towards me. So let's make sure we're stamping on the card. So we stamp the butterfly onto the card. And now I need a pair of scissors. Thanks, Anne. I'm glad you talk to yourself as well, Sheila, because I do it all the time. Now, obviously, there is no preparation done. So unfortunately, normally, I have all my cutting out done. So... We have to cut out on the live because we're using everything we've got on my desk. We're not cheating, so that means we have to cut out live as well. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. So if anybody shares the Facebook Live, I will be doing a giveaway on Wednesday. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is just for a couple of newcomers that have arrived. If you share the Facebook Live, I've got a giveaway and I'll draw the winner on Wednesday. And I'll announce it on this post. So we're just cutting out the butterfly. Trying to still make sure it looks like a butterfly and I don't chop bits off while you're all watching me. Oh, thanks, Anne. Yes, I love the butterfly. It's wonderful as a focal image. So just cut that out as quickly as I can. I've cooled down a bit now. So there we go. So there's my butterfly. Just sling that on the floor. Nice untidy craft room. So now, obviously, let's bring the tag back in. Bye, Anne. No problem. Thanks, Anne. Thanks for joining me. Have a good evening. Hi, Sandra. So I'm going to add the butterfly here. But the butterfly needs to be a part of the whole um, composition. So I think what we'll do is we've got a fine paintbrush somewhere. And we'll add some, actually we can add them afterwards. So we'll adhere the butterfly to the heart. I'm not sticking the heart down yet because I'm not sure. I'm sat in the garden. Oh, good for you, Miriam. The perfect place to be. I'm in front of a fan. I don't blame you, Helen. Actually, I need a fan set up in here. That's a good point. So we'll stick the butterfly there. 
Now, I'm just going to look on my desk to see if I've got any of my rusty nails left from the previous... Oh, I've got one. I've got this rusty nail. I talk to both my pugs, Rosemary, all the time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this rusty nail. Hopefully this glue will just hold it while we work together. Actually, don't stick the rusty nail down, Tracy, until you've stuck the heart down. See, this is why you have to be careful when you're doing it off the cuff. So we'll just stick this down. Just put my lid on there. Rusty nail. I love rusty nails. So I'm going to add that there. We don't want to squash it down too much. We still want to see that art wording, but I don't want it central. We, we, we're sort of, we're aiming for here so that the eye is drawn here. So we don't want it bang in the centre. I quite like things off centre. Threads under the heart. Well, it was a challenge, Rox, but I challenged myself not to use any threads because I used them the other day. I'm trying to be good and do something a bit different. <laughs> so I've put that there and then we're going to add this rusty nail here. Like so. So that adds... Oh, I'm quite liking that. So there's that and then what we need to do is this butterfly again is quite stark. I know the vintage book pages are lovely um, but I think we need to add a few splatters onto the butterfly of the Sedona because it'll bring it into the whole design. So I'm just going to, yes and I've got a spritzer bottle, proves how many products you've got on your desk. Look, I didn't, I haven't washed my brush again. Disgusting. So, what we need to do, let's bring this back in camera a bit, is do some delicate splatters so that the butterfly, and let's do some up here. Oh yes, that's better. Just looks like the butterfly belongs. Yes, Raid Hubby's Toolbox. Hi Tracy. Yes, we've got to have splatters. Hi Heather, sorry. I keep calling you Tracy and it's Heather Tracy. So, and then what we need to do is we need to add some splatters of the buff to the bottom. Seeing as how we've got splatters at the top. So we'll add some... While I'm talking to you, I'm frantically trying to look around my desk at what I've got for the next thing. No, I like to leave some white space, Carol. I just think it's important. It's difficult to leave white space, trust me. But I do like to leave some white space. It just For me, it makes it more appealing. So we're now adding some buff splatters. Just onto that Sedona background. I will bring it up to the camera so you can have a look. We just need to dry that. We're not. I won't keep you much longer now. We're getting there. And just move my glue out the way. And I'll bend my butterfly wings. Once everything's dry, I'll bend them upwards like so. But this is what we've got so far. Hopefully you can see the splatters. I think the negative space draws your eye as well. These are the Dina Wakeley paints. Um, and we're using Sedona and Buff. But hopefully you can see that the splatters just add a little bit more detail. And if you can see the splatters at the top of the Sedona. I'm still learning, Heather, honestly, white space is very difficult. But I love some of the clean and simple designs. I know Teresa did some clean and simple designs on her Facebook page. She did a video. And sometimes I love, you know, clean and simple designs. The eyes... It really does a lot for the eye. Right, so let's put my paintbrush in the paint and we'll just dry this a little bit. Because I want to add a touch more. 
you know, I do this with stamping. Yes, they are gorgeous paints, Jenny. I absolutely love them. So for anybody that missed it, I just used what I had on my desk. And it was uh, Dina Wakeley's Buff and Dina Wakeley's Sedona. That's all I had on my desk. So that's what I used. The idea is... Hi, Corrie. The idea is that I'm using what's on my desk and nothing else. So I'm back to my A4 stamp now. And I'm not touching this. Just a little final touch, I think. There's a bit of detail here. So... Again, I want my numbers. Let me see if I can fit that on. Yep. I have to talk to myself as well or else it doesn't go in. If I talk to myself, then I, then I know what I'm doing. I convince myself to do it. So I, I do have to talk to myself. My husband thinks I'm mad. So that's Betty. So what we need now is we need... I've got this little piece of this was off a piece of packaging um, from an order so we'll use this as well so we'll just tie this in here oops when I'm doing Facebook lives I can never stop my hands from shaking I don't know why I always do right so I need to tie that just so that the tag looks finished off Let's tie that in a bow and let's leave some of it dangling. Scissors. So that's a little bit too long. That's better. And then, oh, let's move my ice block. And then we've got these little, I've got some of these. Thanks, Bev. I've got these little numbers here. I might just add one of them. And isn't eight supposed to be lucky? So I think I'm going to add those three numbers there. So we'll add them. It's a good job I didn't make a disaster, too much of a disaster of it, or else I couldn't have given it as, as part of the giveaway. I don't think anybody would have wanted it. So if you share the video, I'll be I'll be doing a giveaway. Uh, the products you can see on my Facebook page, but I have added a couple of more new products to the giveaway, and I'll be giving this tag away as well. So we'll just add these numbers. And I can't leave the numbers like that, because again, that is too stark, the numbers are. So what we're going to do is we we'll get a bit of Sedona paint. Just coming to the final touches now. Yes, you can watch it on Rewind, Sandra, no problem at all. Oh, thanks very much, Fraser. So what we're going to do is pick up some of the paint on your finger and add that to your numbers. You don't want them to look too silvery. That's perfect for some projects, but for this project... It's no good. We need to make sure that the numbers blend with the background. And I think that might be done. I will paint the back for the person that wins it. And uh, I'll send everything out on Wednesday when I've drawn the winner. But I think that's it. We don't want to go and add too much because we don't want to go over the top. Or else we're taking the eye away from what we've done. So, you know, it sort of, it sort of all blends in nicely for me. I'm quite happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed that and I, I really appreciate you joining me and telling me when I'm in camera and out of camera. I'm such an amateur, I need telling frequently because I bring everything towards me. So thank you so much. And I'm absolutely delighted you could all join me. And, and thank you uh, for sharing. And sign it, Tracy. <laughs> okay, Chris, I'll sign it. Thank you. So thanks ever so much for joining me. I will do some more random Facebook lives. There could be, you know, there could be disasters along the way, but the disasters that we can do together and to prove that you can all do this as well, you can all have a go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you all have a wonderful week and I shall see you all soon. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye.